Hello everybody and welcome to, I guess, a mini Hylian Games cast. It's me, Daniel, aka Capt Ferguson, and I'm joined today by the one, the only, <laughs> Game Over Jesse. Say hello. 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 This is a video on your YouTube channel, and I'm introducing <laughs> you. The world <laughs> is backwards. Um, but today we have some very exciting news. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. It is a prequel to Breath of the Wild, set 100 years before the events of the game probably covering all of the stuff we see in like the memories and etc around that time around the time of the great calamity and we'll see that war unfold but in hyrule warrior style gameplay and we're going to take an in-depth look at the trailer see yes. if we can pick out any details maybe we'll catch something that no one else has give it a little analysis in-depth look here um, yes. anything to add before we jump in jesse yeah yeah before we start to clear up any confusion because i've seen a lot of people arguing back and forth about this everywhere the original hyrule warriors was not a canon game to the story it was just a spin-off like the tingle games or link's crossbow training and everything but this hyrule warriors it has the same name made by the same team but they also worked together with the original breath of the wild team and this is a Hyrule Warriors game, but instead of Hyrule Warriors 2, it's a canon Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, to where Alanuma himself says that in this game, they wanted to add the story from Breath of the Wild that you didn't get to see 100 years ago to this game. So this is 100% confirmed to be a prequel to, mm -hmm. to Breath of the Wild. Absolutely. So, in a and it's even like in the title of the video like that they upload on their YouTube channel, they literally put in the title, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, a story 100 years before The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So yeah, I, yeah. I feel like there's it's very... They're, they're trying to be very as, as clear as they can with the fact that this game is going to be like canon. It's not going to be some like spin-off like uh, Hyrule Warriors was. Yeah. So, uh, and also a lot of this, something that no one else has mentioned, but uh, Kept Bergerson and I were discussing before we started. In the Creating a Champions book, there is a lot of information in the back talking about Zelda's journey and Rivali's journey and a lot of the mm -hmm. other champions. And it's all amazing, very detailed information about what happened before Breath of the Wild during the Great Calamity. And it literally seems that if you watch this trailer and listen to Awanuma, they basically took the backstory that they already created for Breath of the Wild and put in the Creating mm -hmm. a Champions book, and they made this game based off of that story so yeah. if you want to get an idea of how the story's going to go which we already know how it's going to end with all the champions dying and mm -hmm. link almost dying and zelda uh sealing ganon but um if you want the events that happens that follow through you can go to the creating a champions book and read it mm -hmm. and you can get an idea of how the story and this is going yeah. to go and what, then what you, we're going to be in for here <laughs> yeah and, it's, and then, it's it's something i mentioned on my twitter that a lot of people i think it resonated with them is i said that this is it feels like this is going to be the rogue one of the zelda series where you know in rogue one when that movie came out, we all know how star wars goes we basically knew already going in how this movie is going to end and it's not going to end well for these characters <laughs> and it was it was really well done and really great and i feel like this is this is the rogue one of the zelda series we know how this is going to end and it's going to end badly for these characters and i'm just excited to see it unfold um um real quick here and also i think maybe before we jump into analyzing the trailer real quick something i, I want to say that i would love to see happen is like a, a final boss fight where it's you against like basically as many guardians as as you can take down you just have to survive as long as you can and that's like the final boss you're in the that ash swamp see. And it's just like a Tetris game where it's just going to be never ending and they're going to keep coming in faster and faster and, and you just have to survive as long as you can. But there's no winning. It's an inevitable failure sort of deal. Um, you just yeah. have to see how long you can stick it out for. Like uh, <laughs> uh, a Hyrule Warriors version of the, the cutscene where yeah, exactly. Link is uh, defeated by the thing. And then there's mm -hmm. the one uh, where in the memory it's link and then like a bunch of uh dead mm -hmm. enemies on the ground and it's just like dozens and dozens of them and it's yeah. like link just slaughtered like a hundred different 
enemies and yeah. it's just like and he's just he's beat although yeah. you could still have like a proper victory with um if you switch over to maybe playing as zelda at that point and then you have to go and fight your way back to the castle from there and seal ganon yeah play through you know, the part where you're dragging link's body yeah <laughs> no she she said that she <laughs> could got, be. she got help from the the soldiers or something from help. the sheikah there yeah that's true so yeah anyway, that, that that's kind of my wish list though for a finale of the game i feel like that would be just really incredible um i've been saying stuff like that on the podcast for a while that that's kind of what i would love to see from a prequel but it looks like our dreams are kind of coming true so i'm just really excited about it yes and uh finally uh you can also tell that in a lot of the scenes that we see in this trailer match up with the uh the cutscenes from the memories in breath of the wild to where Mm -hmm. you'll see a memory of like daruk and link walking by themselves or uh rivali will be doing something by himself Mm -hmm. in breath of the wild uh uh, 100 years ago and then in this game which is based 100 years ago you have the scenes in this trailer to where it's the exact same thing so i believe uh you're going to be playing through the story uh that alanuma gave us in the back of creating a champion and it's Mm -hmm. also going to follow along with the cutscenes in breath of the wild which Mm -hmm. is something that every single person who bought breath of the wild (laughs) when dlc started to come out everyone said they want dlc to play the game through the memories 100 years ago or to be able to play as the champions and Mm -hmm. what did nintendo do they gave us a whole game of it instead of just the dlc yes because it's the exact same thing that happened with breath of the wild too to where they said they wanted to put all this stuff in breath of the wild but they couldn't so they released the game and then put the some of the stuff and dlc and they had the second dlc pack and then they had uh some free dlc that they added but ultimately in the end they had too many ideas and instead of making a third or fourth dlc pack they ended up just turning those ideas that they had into its own game and in the Mm -hmm. same way this probably could have been dlc at one point and maybe the story stuff but yeah and then they decided that no we're we're better off not doing that let's just focus on what happens next as a sequel and they took the idea of the prequel to koei tecmo which is yeah basically exactly like. what they say in this to where they say alnuma approached them so mm-hmm. they didn't go and say hey can we make a higher world warriors 2 it was nintendo and alnuma that went to them and asked them to make mm-hmm. the game so and i feel like that was the right move honestly because i feel like like breath of the wild is, is obviously one of my favorite games ever of all time ever um but the gameplay style of warriors being so combat heavy and this being basically what is a war unfolding, I just feel like it, it makes sense. It just makes sense to me. Um, yeah. To have and that kind of thing. So, With the character models and everything in this, uh, mm-hmm. you can see that it looks exactly like Breath of the Wild. But yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's funny you we, mention that. Is that there's, a, there's a part where they talk about the first Harvard Warriors game and they show a clip from it. I'm like, oh man, it, I feel like... I remember thinking Harvard Warriors looked really good graphics wise when it came out but now i'm like oh gosh it's kind of ugly in comparison to this like this (laughs) game looks so gorgeous Uh, yeah so the scarf uh not the scarf but the uh the way the game looks it looks like they took the character models and everything from breath of the wild and they could be using the breath of the wild engine um nintendo has other games that uses that engine it started out as the zelda wii u tech demo engine and then they Mm -hmm. experimented with uh and you i'll put pictures on the screen right now so so that people watching can see it (laughs) um or if you're listening on itunes uh you can go to my twitter and i'll just post the pictures on there or you can go to this part of the video on youtube but there are images and screenshots that Nintendo released from before they started working on Breath of the Wild or Zelda Wii U as it was known then. Mm-hmm. Uh, after they made the Zelda Wii U tech demo, uh, they started experimenting with Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword. So they mm-hmm. made uh, cutscenes or images and character models and uh, like Kakariko Village from Twilight Princess with a bunch of the characters. There's the... Uh, 
the the fountain the goddess fountains what are they called mm-hmm. um the springs i guess like the spring of power spring of wisdom yeah so yeah. Uh, they have a skyward sword uh one where it's the breath of the wild engine but it's that area from skyward sword and it has all three models standing side by side with wind waker link twilight princess link and skyward sword link so it's odd to see how each of them look in the exact same engine because when you normally look at it it's twilight princess and its engine then you look at skyward sword and it's skyward sword and its engine and they you know twilight princess has the more real look and skyward sword has the more uh like a painting is kind of what they went for Mm -hmm. but with them in the breath of the wild engine it no longer has that painting effect added to it but it's still the skyward sword model so it's weird uh uh, but anyways they ended up making wind waker and not twilight princess with the engine they didn't let tantalus use the zelda wii u engine for some reason even though they had already started twilight princess with the breath of the wild engine Right. And then just did nothing with it except release screenshots. But this game, it finally looks possibly like Nintendo let a third party finally use that engine that's so precious to them. <laughs> um, yeah. And that could have been because they say that Koei Tecmo worked alongside the Breath of the Wild team. So that could have been the reason. Um, or... They just copied the models from Breath of the Wild and put it in uh, a better version of the original Hyrule Warriors engine. And Mm -hmm. the major difference uh, that Daniel and I disagree with is if you look at this side-by-side comparison that I have on screen now, you can see that in Breath of the Wild, there's just kind of like a foggy haze over everything. And then in this game, the colors are more vibrant there's not that foggy gray i don't even Mm -hmm. know what to call it like i I know what you mean yeah but i mean like i feel like it fits the tone like the mood of the game but um like for breath of the wild but i can see you know with the warriors gameplay going without it is fine here but also yeah it's not going to be hampered down by the wii u right so it's it's gonna look better (laughs) that was another thing is uh they made it very clear that uh Zelda Wii U, or uh, at the time it was Zelda Wii U, but Breath of the Wild, they wanted to make the two different versions as close as possible. And they kept saying over and over that they were basically identical, except Breath of the Wild ran at the higher resolution in the Switch version. And it, to make them as close as possible to each other, they actually took away features that everyone wanted. So having the map and all of the touchscreen stuff on the Wii U version that they mm-hmm. showed off and was a huge feature that they were promoting for Breath of the Wild, and they probably spent months working on it, they ended up just taking it out so that it could be closer to the Switch version. Mm-hmm. So uh, that could be why Breath of the Wild has that hazy look, because on the Wii U, it... Uh, it needed that fog to be able to run the game as well as it did. So Mm -hmm. they just left it in the Switch version. That way people wouldn't uh, complain. And uh, that could be why in this, because it's made specifically for the Switch, there is none of that fog or anything. Mm -hmm. The colors are much more vibrant and detailed. Uh, And Breath of the Wild 2 even seems like that as well. Um, Although they're in the cave and stuff yeah, walking around it's harder, it's harder to tell when they're in the yeah. cave and stuff but but it, yeah. it looks like it's even removed a little bit in breath of the wild too and that could just be because uh they can just focus on the switch and uh, mm-hmm. make it look even better um so yeah let's uh let's move on with this yeah let's uh see so i thought we would just take a watch through the trailer and we'll kind of pause at different scenes and see what, what stands out to us and uh that kind of thing here. So I'm gonna yes. And if you all find this. anything that we don't or notice something, please leave the details in the comments below. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So we got Aegeonum, of course, introducing us. Thank you. You're welcome, Aonuma. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he has the the nerdy gamer shirt on, and then oh, like yeah. like a five hundred dollar suit. <laughs> 
that's that's how you know he's the king. The king of Zelda. Okay, so here we get into it, finally. So, we have this opening cutscene with Impa telling us the story like we're... This is very this similar is to Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it's not exactly the same cutscene, but this is very similar to like when King Rome tells us about mm-hmm. Hyrule falling and stuff here. Alright, so let's uh, go back to see if we can see any... Yeah, so Anything. we see like some stuff in Castletown, and um, there's flying guardians. I don't think those were shown in the original game in this part, at least. Like they were around, but I don't think it showed them in that cutscene that King Rome, when he's talking about Hyrule falling. Um, so that's that's kind of neat. But. Yeah, it looks like a almost like a different camera angle to the one mm-hmm. from the memory and Breath of the Wild where they're yeah. destroying. So yeah, these it's are like, definitely different angles, and yeah, so it's like the same. Uh, cutscene area time almost like but, that from a different point of view <laughs> exactly yeah and then we have the castle here Mm-hmm. and this this transition here is just that's amazing i love that transition from it's like okay no we're not just talking about the past we are in the past yeah um, it breaks apart yeah and it's uh just, mm-mm-mm. um here we have Link. He's holding a soldier's broadsword, and he's wearing soldier's armor. He also we see him in, in a bit here with the soldier's shield. So he's not a champion yet at this point. So I think we'll see. This makes me think that we're going to see him find the master sword and become a champion, um, like as part of this game's story, which excites the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just and putting we, that out there. We can see that the uh, armor that he's wearing and mm-hmm. his face, his hair, everything. It looks. A lot more detailed and it looks like here but you also have armor and everything with more detail you have textures with more detail you have the character models with more detail mm-hmm. and the colors more vibrant and then he's like doing the skyward sword holding up the sword yeah it's a nice touch um then we see zelda walking here this looks like it's probably inside hyrule castle based on like we see out the window the sort of wings so maybe yeah, somewhere inside crest. hyrule castle right, loft wing yeah, because there's a lot of like statues like that around Hyrule Castle. So plus yeah. it makes sense. It's Zelda. She's princess. So and not much this to game, note here. Here we got another one where she's walking yeah. through, and then again she's, like, the, steps out of the light. The lighting. <laughs> it's just, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm all giddy. Sorry. So, <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, here, yeah, you even see like bits of specks of like lens flare and stuff as well, which is a nice touch. But not the lens yeah. flare is a new thing to Zelda, but still. Uh, uh, let's is, keep going. is this a new crown or outfit here? No, this this was seen in the memories of Breath of the Wild. So this is this outfit. Everything is still um, stuff we've seen. Yeah, at least for for Zelda. All right, she's looking depressed or sad. <laughs> do you think watching the memories, she she often is, anyways. <laughs> yeah. So do you think this is where she's like? Could be like her arguing frust- with the king. In well, that I was going to say or- she's frustrated because you know she's supposed to have this power to stop ganon from coming or whatever oh she yeah can't, she can't get it so like this looks like it might be at the beginning of her journey mm-hmm. before like because she's still at the castle and everything mm-hmm. and well, she uh, yeah she, so she could still be kind of um yeah yeah, yeah. there's and a lot like of scenes you, in you the said with her where... dad they're arguing because they had two different ideas on how to stop it so, right yeah that's that's true this yeah, looks there's a lot like, of scenes where Actually, yeah. that's the outfit she was wearing in that memory too. So it could be could be at least around that time. But okay, Ooh, so here we have here. this is the the sacred grounds where the ceremony was held in the memory in the game here, and it's all destroyed in the final game in a hundred yeah. years. But here it's in in the trailer for condition. Breath of the Wild. We can see like the guardians walking around. There's like thunder strikes and stuff. It looks like something almost out of a horror game. Oh yeah. Uh, but in this one, there's like cannons that you can see for defense. And, that's true. Uh, are those soldiers? Yeah, there. those look like Hylian, Hylian soldiers. Just uh, well, you'll, we'll see in a second here when we keep going what, where they're where they're headed towards, um, yeah. or oh, who also, they're headed towards. Another but this detail. is sort of panning away from like the camera's facing sort of diagonal away from Castletown, south towards the plateau, just for like mm-hmm. orientation of where we're looking here. Here, okay. So again, yeah, the, yeah, the draw distance, everything looks great here. Yeah. So we, you do notice but, that the draw distance. There are some stuff that does pop in. A little bit. Well, you'll, you'll notice instead of popping in, they sort of, they use, what's what's the term? Where they sort of like cross-hatch, sort of fade in. Yeah. Um, they see a lot of games, dithering is, I think, the word. Is that right? Um, so it looks like they use that instead of just like popping in, which makes it a little more smooth. But yeah, you, like see you can Link see the here. trees in the background. Yeah. That so this pop is Link in as it comes. Just, he's just mowing down Bokoblins, as you'd expect 
both yeah. you'd expect that from Lincoln. Also, you'd expect that from Hyrule Warriors. The flying in the air. And then I love this. Okay, it's so dramatic. He runs to runs to face the Moblin, who's like all angry and everything. Yeah. So this reminds me of the original Hyrule Warriors trailer to where mm-hmm. uh, the Dagongo is out, and then yeah. Link just rushes towards it with all the other soldiers like being yeah. destroyed, and then also, he's the one that goes to it. There's and all it's these also like surrounded by um, the Goblins stone like so. pillars and stuff like that and these are these are all in the game in breath of the wild sorry um in ruins and everything so it's like we're seeing all of these stuff and you see like there's walls and forts and stuff in the background here which i will have to check if those are also in the final game in ruins but i would has i'd hazard a guess that they are are you talking like, about that might be the area where like the plateau tower is we might be facing towards that and there's all those ruins there so like i really feel like we're gonna see a lot of hyrule as it was uh, in good condition, you know, pre so this getting is, destroyed. This is like, I would say, a hundred yards away from from like the gates the, of Castle Town. That no, that the area that we first seen, where it had like the the circle thing. Oh yeah, the, the, the sort of the sacred grounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, so this pans forward. No, oh, here we got okay. uh, Mitha, Mitha, and, and Zelda. The, uh, one of the only champions that we have not had on the podcast. Mm-hmm. True. Which, <laughs> True. We, we can go ahead your, and um, announce this for everyone. And it's amazing because this uh, this game came out uh, and mm-hmm. got you know announced and stuff. And it just so happens that mm-hmm. we are having Sean, the voice of the great Deku tree, Rivali, and Tiba? Tiba, right? yeah. Tiba? On with Andre from Game Explain. True. And it's going to be a big we'll see collaboration. I mean, there's a lot of news going down right now, so we'll see. <laughs> we might have to push things up a bit, but it's going to be yeah. great. So uh, the, the, the plan is sometime towards the end of this month because uh, everyone's going to be uh busy doing work obviously sean uh, he does a lot of voice acting for a bunch of anime and games and stuff Mm -hmm. so he said he's incredibly busy uh and then andre with game explain (laughs) they're always pushing out new videos so maybe we'll see we don't hear him in the game no um but yeah but his characters are in Yes, definitely. The, at least, well, Teba, probably not. But Rivali, and I'm going to guess the Deku Tree. We don't see the Deku Tree in the trailer at all, but Rivali we do. But Yeah, but um, we this... know Deku Tree is going to be there because uh, well, Zelda takes the sword to the Deku Tree. Well, and I, that I mean, happens Who knows past. if we'll see that part? I mean, yeah. I have a theory that we will, unrelated mm-hmm. to that part, because I think we're going to see Link getting the Master Sword for the first time. So I think we'll see him then as well. But I digress. Um, this shot... Here we see, like, Mifa. Zelda's got the Sheikah Slate. I think, I don't think we're going to see Link have it at all during the game. It's, I think it's just going to be Zelda using it. Um, and I'm sure everyone yeah. will see and agree why so, watching this trailer. But here's this is thing. probably near Zora's domain, guessing, based on, like, the cliffs in the background or kind of that blue rock, right? Yeah. Um, so, really quick, I want to say, whenever they showed Breath of the Wild 2, everyone was like, oh, Zelda might be playable because her hair is short. <laughs> well, Zelda's here, hair is not short in this one and she is definitely going to be playable so. yeah but there, there was everyone say, like it made sense to me like her care easier for her character model to move around because maybe the switch uh, wasn't necessarily it could have been the switch or it just could have been the engine that Breath of the Wild is in couldn't mm-hmm. make the uh, as realistic uh, dynamic hair um like you see in games like Tomb Raider and some of the others to where like the hair moves back and forth like it's real hair. Right. Um, where a lot of older games, the hair, instead of like single strands, is just like in big clumps and it doesn't really look that great. Right. So a lot of people thought since uh, her hair was cut that she was going to be playable. But here, this game looks... Uh, like the details looks like you took breath of the wild and put it on max settings and she still has the long hair and is playable so i don't know why everyone thought that just because her hair was cut you could play as her. <laughs> i still think you get to play as her in breath of the wild too but yeah right 
And yeah. do you know, this just came to mind, do you know what this is? This um, might be kind of part of the scene where in the Champions Ballad where no, Zelda's no, no, kind of no, recruiting. No, 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 all, yeah, all together. Like... Oh. Do you remember, we talk about this all the time. No, Even you lost me. We, 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 we've, we've referenced this with Breath of the Wild 2 and the sequel, like in the videos where we talk about all of the, like, uh, everything. We have a bunch of videos that just go through all of the details and everything that we know about Breath of the Wild 2 from rumors, leaks, mm-hmm. interviews, everything. Like, real facts. Like, trust me, real facts. Like, mm-hmm. yes. So, uh, and then, because most of the time we even show uh, the quote or the interview on screen. Yeah. So uh, you can see it for yourself. A lot of people are like, clickbait, blah, blah, blah. We don't know anything about Breath of the Wild 2. And it's like, dude, if you watch the video, you can see on screen everything that I'm saying is coming directly from the guy creating the game. And one of the things that he said was he wanted to make a multiplayer Zelda game based oh, yeah. off of the Breath of the Wild engine. That's a good point. And, and um, I mean, and they've confirmed it'll this? be at least two-player. I'm hoping 